Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola One Action, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, obviously, you can see the phone in front of me is locked, and uh, I am already connected to Wi Fi, uh, just so I can show this. And I can unlock it either using a pen or using the Google account. Now, assuming we don't know either of those, what we want to do to start off is basically go back to the first page right over here and change the language to any kind of other language that has a different keyboard. So as you can see, basically anything from down here below will work. So you can choose whichever one you want. And from there, progress through the setup back to the Google verification page. And from here, you want to tap on the field. And once it brings up a keyboard, you should see a distinct difference right here. That being that there is a little globe icon now. Before, that wasn't there. So let's hold it. This will bring up the language settings right here. So you can choose either well, to stick with the, I believe, Russian keyboard or go back to the QWERTY. Or we can also go to language settings right over here. And then at the bottom, we will have uh, add a keyboard. So tap on this button. And from here, you want to add any kind of keyboard that doesn't have an arrow. So, something like this, good enough. Once you tap on it, again, tap on the button right here to add it. Cool. Once you do, let's go back. Change the language back to English. English, there we go. And then, let's progress through this once more. Now, as you can see, there is still the keyboard. So, what you want to do now is hold the globe icon once more, change it to the QWERTY keyboard right here in the middle, then hold it again, go to language settings, add a keyboard, find one with an arrow. As you can see, there is Albanian. There we go. And once you tap on it, you want to tap on it three dots and go to the help and feedback. This will bring up the support section right here. And you want to tap on the field to describe your issue. And what you want to type in is Morse code or just start typing MO. And we'll bring up the option that we're looking for as suggested. So use more, sorry, Morse code. Once, it, once you tap on it, it will bring up this page right here with the video right on the top. So you want to tap on the video, it will load it up. And from there, you will have a three dot option. And when you tap on it, it will give you this peculiar option, watch later. And this will open it in Chrome. So from here, let's accept and continue. Uh, no thanks. Tap on the search bar on the top and navigate to hardreset.info website. There we go. Once it loads up, you wanna tap on the three bars right here. You go to the download category and then in the download search bar type in android 8 there we go as you can see android 8 and search for it and this will bring up only one suggestion right here so let's select download and then scroll down and you want to actually hold it in the download link right here. So when you hold it, it will open up this window and you want to choose open an incognito tab. We do it this way. So when there is a sometimes problem with the download, um, this will basically prevent it from happening. Um, the, the download problem, I don't know, it's just kind of random, uh, but this seems to solve it all the time. So let's stop and continue right here. Let's allow. Okay. Let it download. And once it's done downloaded, you want to open it up. And before we can actually install it, we need to go into the settings. Then check the allow from this source and simply go back. And now we can install it. And again, once it's installed, we want to open it up. And there we go. So from here, uh, it should be on the application. So what you want to do is tap on Google Account Manager APK install, select for version 6.0 
and then again we need to go to the settings allow from this source because this is a different application now go back install click on done and this time around choose bypass frp and select browser sign in it will open up this page so disregard this page which we want to do again tap on three dots and browser sign in confirm it and this will open up google sign in page so from here just tap on the sign in and you can log in with any kind of account that you want to now if you don't have one you can create it uh, even though there is a create account right here as you can see i would discourage you from going through this route um, i have no actual idea how this will work I uh, haven't actually tried it, so <clears throat> you should try probably creating an account on your computer or another phone if you can. Um, you can also use an existing account if you want to, uh, assuming you feel comfortable with that. And that is basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my existing account, so let's just tap it in. Mm, there we go, let's go to next. And from here, I'm going to put in the password, so let me do that off the screen. I'm going to press next and fail at signing in. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. Okay, so as you can see, um, the app has, well, we have signed in successfully. And basically once that happens, what you want to do now is simply hold the, actually no, not hold the power key, let me, um, we want to go back, there we go. And from here, go to Gmail account. Although we don't have to be an incognito, there we go. Sorry for the shaky cam. And again, you want to log in with the same account that you used to log in previously. So again. And once more, I'm going to put in the password. Now let's log in once more. And there we go. So as you can see, we are now logged in. And from here, we are going to go to... Let me quickly check. Um, so let's type in this so google.com slash android oops, no space uh, android slash find there we go And from here, you should see your device. So there it is, Motorola One Action. Give it a second, hopefully it will start stop refreshing as you can see right here. Okay, there we go. So you are looking for the percent uh, percentage of the battery right here. If you don't see that, do not start the process. And as you've seen, it stopped uh, refreshing and uh, showed us a bunch of options on the bottom. And then I just tapped on the refresh once more, just so we can see the battery percentage. Once you see this, you can progress. So we want to tap on setup, security, erase, or end with erase. And from here, can this disappear? Okay, there we go. And once it disappears, uh, from here you want to choose the uh, sec uh, secure device, which is in the middle. And in here, simply insert a 
passcode. So I'm gonna use one, two, three, four, five as an example. Oops. There we go. And then repeat it at the bottom. Oops. There we go. So you can see one, two, three, four, five again. And let's tap on next. Set password, yep. And once you set it up, uh, let's see okay as you can see it worked so from here what you want to do is dismiss then wait for this to disappear and now choose erase device and then again tap on erase device now once you have uh, added your account you want to confirm it once more before we can actually proceed so again i'm going to put in a password for this account there we go let's go to next and as you see it will bring up this prompt right here uh, permanently erase motorola one action yep and uh, erase check whatever this regarded it will automatically begin so right now we're just waiting for the process to finish uh, once it has we should be back in the setup screen of this device so i'll be back once that is actually visible And as you can see, now the process is finished. So let's finish up the setup. Um, so again, let's get started, skip. Now this time around, uh, we will need to again connect to Wi-Fi. So let me actually do that off the screen maybe. There we go. So once you connect, um, let's give it a second to actually connect fully, there we go. So right here, you will see again a verify pin. Um, it was the same thing as before, a verify pin. But the difference right here is that now we just need to insert the pin that we used uh, right before we uh, formatted the, the device. So as you remember, I set it to one, two, three, four, five. Uh, if you have set the same one as I did, uh, then well, insert it. If you set a different one, then that will be what you need to insert right over here. For me, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, boom, and the device will now unlock. There we go. So from here, I'm going to skip, and again, I'm going to skip majority of the things right here. It is still recommended that you perform a factory reset of the device through the settings, but you can still use the device already if you finish the setup. So let me quickly finish this up, just so I can show you. Uh, how to factory reset the device. So, kind of skipping through most of this. There we go. So once you, once you see the home screen, what you want to do is go into the settings. Go settings, and from here, scroll down all the way to system. Tap on advanced, and you'll see reset options. Tap on it and choose erase all data factory reset. Reset phone and then choose erase everything and the process will then begin. And once it does, uh, it will then remove every kind of leftover trash from the old account, basically fully unlocking the device. So once you perform this, when you go back to the setup screen, because that's where it will take you, you won't need to then uh, log into your uh, Wi-Fi if you don't want to, and basically everything will be optional and the device at that point will be fully unlocked. Now, I'm not going to really go through it because you've already seen how to go through the setup process of the device and that is going to be basically as a typical brand new device setup screen once you factory reset from here. And that is basically how you would unlock this device. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, 
subscribe, and thanks for watching.